analysis of this uh, story. We're joined by Ali Reza Jafazadeh, author and Iran expert. Thank you very much for uh, joining us, Mr. Jafazadeh, uh, this uh, Tuesday evening here at France Van Cat. Now we've seen. Uh, Thank the... you very much. Great pleasure. We've seen that the Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Khamenei is saying that the talks would go nowhere even before they got started. Just how serious do you think uh, Iran is about getting a deal? Well, um, I, I think the Iranian regime is certainly very serious to see what kind of relief they can get, uh, but they are not at all serious in abandoning their nuclear uh, weapons uh, program. I think they have made it very clear um, that what they're looking for, and you've heard it repeatedly from various serious senior officials, that they're not going to abandon the enrichment program, they're not going to um, abandon the heavy water facility in Iraq, uh, and the uh, uh, and the, the site underground facility in Fardo uh, near Qom. Uh, I, and that's why I think they're, the two sides are like miles away uh, from really reaching a deal. What about if there is no deal six months down the line or 12 months down the line? Does that uh, open up the way for uh, almost almost unavoidable military option? No, I don't think so. I think uh, we have to understand what really brought the Ayatollahs to the table. It wasn't their change of intentions. Rather, the Ayatollah uh, Khamenei, Supreme Leader Khamenei, uh, he was forced to come to the table as a result of first sanctions, uh, but most importantly, uh, the domestic uh, concerns he had. He was concerned that the continued sanctions would further uh, heighten unrest in Iran. There is a disaffected population in the country, the younger generation, and we remember what happened in 2009, in summer of 2009, when millions of people were in the streets, and he was concerned that the same thing could repeat itself at uh, this time. So if, if that's the case, then that's what brought it all to the table. We have to exploit it. I think the Western countries, we have to understand that the regime in Tehran is desperate, they're in trouble, and uh, they can get far more concessions from Tehran than they have already gotten. And their number one concern is inside, inside Iran. Remember, in the past few weeks, um, uh, particularly the past few days, there have been widespread anti-government demonstrations in various parts of Iran, in southern part of Iran, in, in, uh, in various provinces, and uh, that hasn't settled. Iran has increased its uh, suppression against the population. There has been a rise in the number of executions inside the country under Rouhani. That should tell you something, that the regime is vulnerable domestically. And instead of thinking about the military option, the Western countries will have to think about how to exploit the, uh, the, weak, the weaknesses of the regime uh, internally. Ali Reza Jafazadeh, thank you very much for that analysis.